everyone. Welcome back to Good Times Grooming. I'm Emily. I'm here without Chelsea today. Today I'm going to be grooming Donnie. Y'all have already seen him. He is my new standard poodle puppy and I am in love. We're best friends. <laughs> he is my first poodle. I've been grooming for three and a half years. I've wanted a long haired dog. Right now I have a Roddy, a Roddy mix, a boxer that we just took in recently and then I decided it was time to get a haircut dog. So I went all out and we got a standard poodle. But yeah, this is my first poodle, so I am still learning. I have experience grooming poodles, but not owning poodles, maintaining the coat. If you have any suggestions for the best shampoo, conditioner, you know, leave-in conditioner, sprays, anything that you can think of, definitely leave them in the comments because like I said, he is my first poodle. He's not going to be show poodle. I'm not going to have him in a full show coat, but I do plan on doing different fun haircuts on him. And as of right now, we're going to set his pattern kind of into a lamb cut. Not really sure what exactly I want to do yet, but I'm going to play with it and see what I like best. But I'm not going to be touching his leg. I want his legs to be full and natural and his body be taken down short. So I'll insert pictures of what I'm going for. Um, for my inspiration pictures. We're just gonna play around and see what I like best. I've already shaved his face. He's kind of a butt for that, so I would have been here all night wrestling with him had I done it on camera. Why are you crying? Oh my god, I'm not torturing you. He's dramatic. <laughs> Wipe your tears, little boy. And then his feet, I mainly did. I'm gonna touch them up, but I mainly did those off camera because he is a butt for those two still. He hasn't had a full groom. <laughs> this is his third, like, puppy trim, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, let's get started or I just sit here and talk all night. I'm gonna touch up his feet real quick. I'm just gonna go with a 10. I already went with a 10 and with a 40 around his nails to kind of edge around them. I did it before the bath. So I'm gonna touch up all the crazy hairs that came in after his feet were clean. They're not gonna be perfect. I'm not gonna sit here and hold him down and make him hate me or hate the grooming. He's getting better, definitely getting better. So I don't wanna push him too much. And he's my dog, so I don't care if it's perfect or not. I'm more for his comfort. We've been working all day, haven't we, Donnie? Also, I got a haircut. <laughs> we look hot hotness, that's why. The storm that came through in Texas, the winter storm came through, um, really threw a wrench in our plans. I work full time at the shop with Chelsea, but I also work where I'm at now, here at my you know, little pop-up shop. It's not it's temporary setup, but I work here two days out of the week. My two off days from work with Chelsea and where we work. <laughs> I work here on my two days off. So I only had those two days. And so I booked up about three weeks in advance. And with the storm that just passed, we had a water pipe broken. We had ice on the road for four days. So, you know, I had to cancel everybody and nobody was able to come in anyways. I had about a week or two days full of people that I had to fit in this week when we were able to open back up. So yesterday and today I was working my butt off. Thankfully, my boyfriend is here to help me bathe. It was a long day, long two days, but there is money to be made and dogs to be groomed. So here we are. Um, I'm gonna do his panties real quick. Yeah, see, he's not, <laughs> not completely there, not completely used to it yet but it is time to start introducing the clipper and the haircut, little mister. So, oh, that's my face. How crazy. There we go. Good boy. And I'm gonna try to do this quick, y'all. My phone is on 20%. And it's also already like 5.45 or 6 o'clock and I'm gonna go home and see my dogs. Come on. You can be a big boy. He's such a worm. Like he just flops. When I pick him up, when I pick up one of his legs, he's just like, blah, worm. So with the inspiration picture, I think later on I'm going to end up doing a two comb on the body and leaving the legs natural until I get <laughs> fed up with it. For today, I love his hair and I'm scared to cut it. I'm not scared, but I really don't want to cut it, but I am. So I'm going to go with a longer guard comb. <laughs> We're going to start with an A and see if I like that length or I definitely want his legs to be long, but I need his body to look a little bit more maintained, so... I think that might be a good length for now. Once he gets older and he gets used to it a little bit more, he can go down. Wow, you're doing really good, Donnie. I thought you were going to be horrible. Now, see, I'm not sure what exactly, where exactly, later on I'm going to want to blend his legs in. So for now, I'm going to come off of the hip. I don't like town and country, personally. I like it more blended, so we're just going to come off the hip. And I'm going to leave the little parts in here to scissor because for me, I can't do that with a guard comb. I'm more comfortable doing it with scissors. And I'm gonna leave it higher than what I think so that I can blend it down. It's okay, baby. I've told Chelsea this, but this spot here, right behind the front leg, is always my trouble spot when it comes to blending. I'm better off using my shoes. I don't know, do you think I should go down? No, I think that's okay. Uh, 
No, <laughs> that's okay. We're halfway through already, okay? And we're gonna stick with this link. I think I need to tighten him up a little bit, you guys. He's got too much freedom over here. Careful. You're okay. You're doing very good, little boy. You're a very good, little boy. Oh, he's mommy's baby. Oh, I am in love. I think I will always own a poodle from now on. He is the funniest dog I've ever met. He has such a big personality. He's dumb, but he's so smart <laughs> at the same time. Like, he does the goofiest things that make him look dumb, but really it's a smart thing. Like, he will walk around the house. Instead of playing with his toys that I buy him, he will get his water bowl and he will walk around the house all day and all night long with it in his mouth. And I can give him all the water in the world. He doesn't want it. He just spills it, walks around with a water bowl. But when he is thirsty, he'll bring it to me. So, he's smart, but he's dumb. <laughs> He's not down. Sorry if I can't really see what I'm doing. Also, he's a black dog, but that does not help. No, I was supposed to get an all black originally, but unfortunately that one was picked early out of the litter. He was a second pick. I was hoping I would get him, but that being said, I am so glad I got Donnie instead. Since I got him, I'm so glad. I have a black and white one. Like, he's just so beautiful to me. See, I can't really blend that there. Very well. So we're gonna go back to the scissors. The thing about poodles, I don't know how everyone else does it. I guess full hand scissors work better because you can actually use the hair to hide things. But his parents and also him are quite, they're quite bony. I mean, I know all poodles are skinny, but his hips show a lot and his spine kind of does. So I never plan on shaving him because I don't really like that to show. But yeah, I guess eventually, once he's used to it, I could do a full hand scissor. I'm gonna kind of skin this in between and then kind of blend it into the two legs. I'm skinning it here so I can see through that. But. Nice, you're handsome. All right, I'm gonna get his neck. He does not like me holding his face, which is why we fight over his clean face. But hey, we're working on it, okay? Wait, y'all, I don't think I even brushed him out. <laughs> I was so caught up. I brushed him out and then I gave him a bath and I blow dried him and I didn't brush him out after. We're gonna do the bark comb and then we're gonna brush and then we're gonna sit it. <laughs> I was debating on going live or doing this video. I decided on the video, but I do wanna do lives. I think I'm gonna do lives on my, the page that's for my actual business so that like, clients that follow the page can see me groom, get a feel for how I work. I feel like that's the best thing to do for your clients, honestly. I mean, for me anyways, my brand is all about not the best. I mean, yes, I do think I have very good haircuts, especially for how long I've been doing it. Definitely put the effort into the fine details of making the haircuts look good, but my whole brand is more around letting the customers know exactly what's going on. If their dog is not well behaved, if their dog is well behaved, what would be best for them? I kind of just like to be honest and don't try to hide things because I do know a lot of groom shops like to hide things, you know, sweep things under the rug and not do things the right way. But I think it's time for a change. It's time for people to, I don't know, be more honest about what's going on. I don't, I don't like the shady side of the industry that we're in. So I'm trying to change that. <laughs> gonna go in with shears. I think I'm just gonna start blending. I would skim a blade, but he's a lot more freaked out with the clippers than I think he's gonna be for the scissors. So, I think I'm gonna try to scissor, if you will let me. No? Good boy. But you have to stand up, okay. He doesn't like to stand. And, you know, as a groomer, I should be working with him more. So I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I'm not teaching him enough. I mean, yeah, it's better not. It's okay, mister. I can scissor. Good boy. It's okay. It doesn't cut your hair. It barely cuts. See, we're not gonna be perfect around here. I'm trying to go home and just make this look all right <laughs> and not cut my puppy. If he's not liking it, if he's not used to it, I'm gonna say that's good enough for now. And I don't really want to touch his legs because I want them seen pictures and I like the coats that are completely grown out. Oh no, stop that. <laughs> ah, cut. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let him sit down for a little bit and I'm not gonna touch him down there. When he gets excited, yo, he humps. 
<sighs> oh, that was more than I wanted to take off. Thank you for that. I got a giant hole in your leg that's gonna have to grow out. I really should just leave it alone, shouldn't I? <laughs> no, but I've seen pictures like the inspiration of me that looks like a completely natural leg and I don't, I don't want it to look super defined. I want it to look natural. So I don't really want to cut much off the leg. I like how the ends are like not blunt. And I could just do like chunkers or something instead of my shears, but. I'm mainly just going for the sides of his legs. I'm not gonna really do the front. I'm just gonna do the two sides and the back. I wanna see how long they'll get. Please don't hunt me again, sir. I'm gonna do this to his leg. I'm gonna puff it up with my comb and I'm gonna go with my curves. Curving right above that blend line that I set so that it's curving and kind of making an angle off of his hip. Don't hump, mister. That is not appropriate for your groomer. Not appropriate. I'm gonna scissor his booty while I'm back here and while he can't reach me. Sorry, y'all. Well, his shirt is handsome already, and we barely did anything because he's a butt. I'm scissoring very lightly, y'all, because I don't want to take a chunk out of his. Oh my god, help me! <laughs> he humps when he gets excited when I get home after like a long day of being away from him. He humps my leg. No. No, sir. You stop crying and stop humping, okay? Being dramatic. It's not that fun, and it's not that sad. This is not a fun little playtime, Mr. Man. Alright, y'all. Um, I'm gonna go for inside of the back legs and the outside of the back legs in the little hock area if he will stand up. And then I'm gonna scissor his top knot a little bit. And then we're gonna call it a day. God, you were doing that with so much force. God, please. Okay, here we go. Put your wiener up. This is not what you think it is. I'm your mother. <laughs> He's not doing it like that, y'all. I don't think he's he's excited. And puppies, when they get excited, they don't know what to do with themselves. So we're gonna let him have his little moment. And while he's being still like that, I'm gonna try to scissor. Him. Now, just like Chelsea said in that one video, when you're working with puppies, you cut it while you can, but you gotta watch their every moment. And as soon as he starts to flinch, like he's gonna sit down, because I already know he's going to, I'm gonna close my scissor. Not close my scissors, actually, if I'm in the middle of a cut. And I'm not going to cut him. Also, when I work on puppies, I do quick cuts. It's like I'm moving quickly, but I'm barely opening my shear so that there's less chance of something getting caught in there. If you're doing this, you're gonna cut something off. <laughs> so when I'm doing a puppy, I'm doing very short, little bitty strokes, getting little, little bitty hairs. And I think that might be it, y'all. I don't wanna cut too much of his legs because I want them to be cool. Can you not stand like that? That's not very attractive of your body right now. <laughs> I do not practice uh, stacking him or anything because like I said, he's not going to be a show dog. He doesn't always stand like this. He's standing funny because he's humping. We did get him from a reputable breeder. They've got all kinds of, you know, health checks and stuff. He's nice and healthy. He's the best puppy in the world, even though he humped his mommy. Yeah, nasty boy. Uh, if he's going to let me, I'm going to band his tail. Go with a 10. I'm gonna hold it down and I'm gonna do, he's already got the sides kind of short cause I open up his booty a lot, but I'm gonna do a V. This way. Nope. And the reason I'm doing a V is to give the tail when he holds it up, give it a little pocket to go into without pushing all of this hair. This hair is gonna get pushed up anyway, so there's no point having a full coat there and his tail is nice and high i don't think in shows it's supposed to be but he holds his all the way up there we go. i think we're done with the body okay you can sit we're done with the body good boy now his ears i'm throwing out but i am gonna trim them slightly i do not like the little pointy look i find his leather he doesn't have very much extra i do not want him to bite So that's all I took off, just a little bit, so that they're not, I don't like that point. I'd rather them look like this. And I'm still gonna grow them out, but I'm just gonna keep doing light trims to keep them more rounded or straight. I'd rather have straight, I'd rather have rounded, but I also don't wanna cut him. 
If it doesn't let me get perfectly round, that's okay. I'd rather have rounded than have this little point. He's doing good. I think he's doing good because I'm recording. He likes when I talk. Like when we're at home, he just listens to me all day long, like talk. And looks at me and tilts his head like that. <laughs> Also, his top knot is still being worn out. I do think it's time to start separating it from his ears, though. I don't like the full afro top knot. I want a tight top knot. But I am gonna do it with my thinning shears because I don't think he's gonna be that good. And I don't wanna fuck something up. I'm sorry for my language, though. Not really. <laughs> All right, I'll go right above his ear. I feel his ear right there. I just go straight across. See the difference that that makes? Just the separation. And then that's the line that I'm gonna go off of to come forward and to go backwards. His full name is Adonis. All of our dogs are Yeah, his full name is Adonis. Our dogs are kind of Greek mythology themed names. So our first dog, my name is my boyfriend's. First dog is Titan the Rottweiler. Second dog is uh, Ajax the Great. This is his full name. We just call him AJ. Um, he was a shelter mutt. He's like supposedly half Rotty, half Blue Healer. And then we have Adonis, which is the great god of beauty and desire. And we call him Donnie. And our fourth dog, the Boxer, her name is Harley, but we just took her in. We took her in during the storm because she needed a warm place to stay. And she got along with our dogs well, so we decided to just keep her. Wow, he's doing great, y'all. He does have markings. He's got um, little eyebrows that are brown, and he's got this little white streak. You can barely see his eyebrows. But he's got this little white streak on his face, too, that I hope stays there because I will love it. And you can see the difference that I was talking about. You see, now he has a top knot, whereas before he just has a throw. <laughs> Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay. If I need to. feel this bone right above his ear. You can feel that. So I'm going to start. Just First I'm just going in a straight line. Right, same spot, same thing, straight line. Then go, same thing, forward, flip the ear back and you can kind of see where I was cutting so I'm going to follow that same line. Get all that off. And then I'm going to do this line from his eye to his ear, where I shape his face, make sure to get it as close as I can there, kind of start angling up, and then I'm going to go back up right this way, should we comb that down because all that needs to come off. This is the most he has ever let me done do to his top knot. I'm happy because I was about to put that top knot in ponytails because it was starting to get over his eyes. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just looking. I'm going to kind of line up these lines a little bit better. Get that in a little tiny bit. There we go. Now I'm going to follow this line that I made back. Whoa. I really need to get this loop off of him. So once I take off the loop, I think I'm done. Like I don't think he's gonna let me do it. I'm just gonna do the back real quick. I'm gonna try to put his head down and line up the back. I'm just about getting to the point where he's ready to give up. And y'all might notice his eyelid on this eye. His third eyelid is a little funky. We took him to the vet and he said it's a little bit inflamed. He thinks maybe he got knocked by one of the other dogs since we have the big dogs and hit a nerve in his neck. He said apparently dogs have a nerve in their neck that if it gets like hit the eyelid will become inflamed and it takes months to kind of go down. It's not painful or anything it's just something that happens especially with puppies according to our vet anyways. So that's what that is. It should go away. If it doesn't, we'll definitely get it in to get it checked. But if it's more of a cosmetic thing, that doesn't bother me much. If he needs, you know, to get it fixed for his health, definitely we'll get it fixed. But if it's just cosmetic, I'm okay. 
about with my actual shears. It's letting me. Okay, I think I might have went overboard with the top knot. <laughs> now I know. Chill out with the top knot a little bit. I mean, it's cute. It is cute. No, oh, yeah, it's cute. It's fine. He looks like a grown man. Sorry, I keep seeing stuff, but I need to get. Here we go. Beautiful boy. Much better. See, his legs are a little funky. He'll get used to it, and we'll do better next time. It's all good. It's just having fun with my dog, okay? Don't come for me. <laughs> Mr. Donnie. That was an introduction to Donnie. He is my whole world. If you want to get a best friend like him, this is the breeder that I got him from. So he's amazing. We love him. Thank y'all so much for watching. We will see you. Don't really know when. Our schedule's kind of weird right now. Me and Chelsea are having a hard time like being able to get together and film videos. So we started filming separately and uploading separately. Let us know if there's anything that you guys want to see. If there's anything that you guys wish we would do differently. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you think. Either one. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow us on our other social media. Facebook and Instagram at Good Times Grooming. We will see you in the next video. Bye.